All right. You may have seen some pictures on my wall, people holding up signs that say, I got your mat. It's based on Mark chapter 2, verse 3, where four friends took their paralyzed friend to Jesus. They carried his mat and they took him to Jesus. They did whatever it took to get him there. They cut through the ceiling, through the roof, to get him down there to Jesus. They did whatever it took. And the phrase comes from a good friend of mine, Joe Morrow, who said, who texted me the next day and said, I got your mat. It's kind of like saying, I got your back, but it's a better way of just summing up the sermon on Sunday. And I love that saying, and I think that's the way we ought to live our lives is because we're either on the mat or we're carrying the mat for somebody else. And I want to be, and I want to encourage you to be the type of person to look somebody in the eye and say, I've got your mat. No matter what you're going through, no matter what happens, I'm here for you and I'll do whatever it takes. I'll carry your mat for you. And I want to challenge you to take a picture of yourself, post it on my wall, tag me in it with a sign that says, I got your mat, Mark 2-3. Post me in it so that I can make a video of all the pictures that I get. And I'll post it on Facebook later on and put it on YouTube. But I, more than anything, whether you take a picture of yourself or not, I want you to look somebody in the eye today and tell them, I got your mat. When they ask, what do you mean by that? Explain to them exactly what that means.